common child punishments for bad behavior. In the UK and France, they get no video games. In places like the Nordic countries and Iberia, they're yelled at. In the lowlands and in Germany, they get no phone. In Russia and Ukraine, they get spanked. In the Balkans, they're assaulted, all types. In Turkey, they're just straight up abandoned. And in Poland, they can kiss food goodbye. Man, I just love me some totally accurate maps that aren't made up at all. There's definitely data that backs all this stuff up. Amazing map shows which places on Earth are closer to the North Pole or the South Pole. In purple, we have the places that are closer to the South Pole, and in blue, the places that are closer to the North Pole. Crazy that there's almost like this imaginary line that divides the globe down the middle. Why don't we have a word for that? It seems like a pretty important detail. Hey guys, did you know that Portugal's longest border is actually with Spain? That's right, over 1,200 kilometers is shared with Spain. The only country, in fact, that they border. Wait, okay, that actually might not be true. Okay, I almost just like out-memed myself. I didn't know if Portugal had a similar situation as Spain. You know, Spain has like random territories in Morocco. Gotta make sure that even my dumb jokes are still accurate. Did you know the US is so big, you can fit China, the Korean Peninsula, Mongolia, and all of Japan within it. Here's a reference for a scale. They even included Taiwan. That's how large our country is. And all the islands that Japan controls? Now that's amazing. Japan is actually not as large as I thought. They only go from Minnesota all the way to mid-Oklahoma. Sad. Fortunately, this image isn't in like 4K quality. They had to upload it in 240p. That's why the borders are a little bit pixelated. And to think so many websites have this data wrong. China's clearly not bigger than the US. We are facing a fake news epidemic. A simple guide for world tourism, where to go and where to not go. Anywhere above the green line, you're good. Anywhere below the red line, you're also good. Just stay as far away as possible from everything in the middle. Again, if only we had a name for this. I don't know, like the equator? Just stay away from the equator. Thank goodness I'll be allowed to visit North Korea. Has your country ever elected a man named Adolf Hilter? Hmm, that's so strange. It seems like most countries are in blue. It looks like there's just one place in Europe. Would they ever elect a guy with a name like that? Must be really big fans of failed artists. Oh, but wait a second. It's actually not all blue. Oh, look at that. Namibia didn't want them to be left off. They didn't want their buddies in Germany to be the only ones. This is actually a real guy in Namibia, but don't worry. He says he has no plans for world domination. Well, I mean, yet. Let's wait to see if he remilitarizes the Rhineland. Most spoken languages in the British Isles and Iberia. In red, we have American. In green, they mostly speak Mexican. And in yellow, Portugal likes to speak Brazilian. So weird how all these European countries just decided to adopt languages from the American continents. You'd think they'd pick something closer to home. This is what the world would look like if Jesus turned all the water into wine. Man, oh man, this looks like a fun place to be. I wonder what this would do to all the marine life out there. Something tells me they'd be having the time of their life. Another heartwarming attempt to fix the problems of the Middle East. Well, I gotta say, that's definitely one way to do it. Just slap a big old heater in front of it and call it a day. It's also a small attempt to fix parts of Morocco too. Finally, a solution to the Middle East I think we all can get behind. My upcoming road trip, is this possibly feasible? This person is going to attempt to drive through every current conflict going on in Africa right now. So it looks like they're gonna start off somewhere here in the Western Sahara, drive all the way through North Africa, of course gotta visit Ethiopia, a lot of things happening there. End up hitting Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, gonna do a little uh, loop-de-loop to bit Mozambique, go to Angola, of course all the Congo, gotta get all these areas, and then back into the Sahara. I hope you've leveled up your sneak ability, cause you might need it. Found this map of Europe boring, so I added glitter. Gotta admit, this definitely makes it way less boring, that's for sure. It's actually so pretty and beautiful to look at. Finally, if only all the maps were made like this, oh, I wish. This random glitter map is reminding me, I checked my analytics the other day, and I found out I have the most female viewership I've ever had in the history of my channel. Even 20%, it's, it's still sad, but it's a little concerning. Like, are they planning some sort of secret attack or something? Something just feels sus. Maybe we had more maps like this, we'd get it to 25%. I mediterranean the world to make it better. Finally, it's about time. I've seen the Mediterranean in certain continents, like a Mediterranean randomly slapped into North America, and then a random upside down Mediterranean randomly slapped into Australia. But finally, the same map which has South America too, and they get two. Why don't we get two? I guess Africa gets two as well. But nobody is as lucky as Asia. I think they have a total of four the Middle East. India, Southeast Asia, all through China and the Central Asia area. Wait, how many does Europe get? Europe, I think, has... Wait, no, this is technically Asia. It's in Turkey. I almost missed the Scottish one. I think Europe has a total of four, maybe? Just randomly one here in Hungary. Where there's actually a bunch sprinkled into Indonesia. Okay, yeah, Asia definitely has the most. I think they have a total of, like, seven. Did you throw one into the Philippines, too? When they thought they could get away with this. Nobody Mediterraneans my Greenland. The partitioning of the U.S. after the Great Daga War of 2026. Now, seeing how it takes place in 2026, 
Olympics. Something must have happened with these canines and the World Cup. Maybe all the soccer balls running around everywhere made the dogs go crazy. Weird how the Great Doggo Wars kind of mirrors the U.S. Civil War. Deep South taking up arms for the Poodle, meanwhile the North taking up arms for the Golden Retriever. And I don't even know what the hell Oklahoma's doing. But does anybody? Gotta admit, I think the Golden Retriever might have this one. A map of Europe if it was colonized by Africa. You could tell it's colonized by Africa because all the borders here are super straight. Almost like there's no regard for language, culture, people, history, nothing like that. Oh, how the tables have turned. Of course, Africa was gonna bring back this little baby down here in southern Iberia. Gotta make sure France is nice and split up. Austria is like this weird trapezoid. And there's Prussia, Flamengia, Republic of London, because I don't know, just, just do it. Ireland mirrors Madagascar. Ah, yes, a new peaceful Western Europe. It's about time. If only we lived in this reality. Google's top answer for single neighbor nations, or countries that border only one other country. Top answer, Spain. Oh, wait a second. Google's finally done it. Google does not recognize the country of France. And I thought this website couldn't get any more based. This is kind of weird because they also border Morocco and we just talked about that. Oh yeah, you too. Speaking of Google, when countries of Europe got their independence based off Google's first answer. I love this because I literally encounter this every week. Google claims it's 1949 for Germany, but in reality it's 1871. I've seen them also give 1990 though. That's right guys, England has only been around for like a hundred years. Only we could go back. Wait, how did Hungary get a thousand BC. Lucky. Spain got 1978. Spain founded December 6, 1978. I knew Mexico just popped up out of thin air. Oh, this is also why Spain speaks Mexican, right? Because Mexico is a lot older of a country. I get it now. France with 1792. This might be one of the most disrespectful of them all. San Marino with just the year 1600. San Marino is like one of the oldest countries around. I'm guessing Google just knows something that we all don't. We're not being told the truth. 99% of Europeans can't name this state. Honestly, you gotta admit, I can barely name this state. Let's see what the comments came up with. West, 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 West Virginia. Not a bad guess. Rectangle. <laughs> Wyoming 2, Electric Boogaloo. Crazy how all these names are infinitely better than Colorado. Map of Italy, except I flooded it with tomato sauce. Gotta admit, they're definitely gonna enjoy this, finally. Ah, oh, but you left Sardinia off. They probably want some tomato sauce, too. Finally, Italy can live in peace now. Ooh, another one of those child punishment maps, except this one is for America. So punishment in Mexico usually means no soccer. Same thing goes for Brazil and Bolivia. In Paraguay, you get straight up drafted. In Chile, you get sent to a labor camp. Only thing worse than that is probably getting sent here. In Peru, we have no gaming. In Honduras, you literally get sacrificed. Puerto Rico, you're probably not making it out alive. You might just be getting eaten in Florida, I'm not sure. In Suriname, you'll be forced to speak Dutch, and in the country over, your parents get a divorce. I see this as an absolute win. Man, I wish I grew up as a kid in some of these places. Oh, so you know geography? Name all these countries then. Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, I think one of them is... Uh, Bob! No, but for reals, I think one of these places has gotta be named Pixel. I actually might only be able to name one, and I think that's like LA County. I don't know any of the other counties. This is a literal impossible challenge. I've seen this map before, but I think I got an update. Languages spoken by leaders of North America and Europe. Of course, Biden speaks Canadian, and Justin Trudeau speaks Canadian dose. Vladimir Putin speaks Xbox Land, Canadian, and Austrian. This guy leading Poland speaks the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. This man from the Netherlands speaking Belgian. The UK Prime Minister speaking South Africa, Pakistani, and Canadian. Pedro Sanchez as of Spain speaking Mexican as we know and Pope Francis can speak Mexican San Marino Roman Canadian Austrian Ukrainian Mozambican crazy that Turkey elected a guy that can only speak Cyprus I admit these guys are very fluent in a lot of crazy languages where all Disney princesses are from ooh this one's gonna be a good one obviously Lilo is from Hawaii Pocahontas somewhere in the USA too forgot this girl from Hercules but yeah she's from Greece three French girls really brave from Scotland is Alice from Alice in Wonderland Welsh I knew something was off about her. Mulan from China. <gasps> Norway? No way. <laughs> These girls. Ocean. Punzel and uh, the, oh, what is her name again? Dang it. That's the chick with the dwarves, right? She's German? Snow White. Man, this is just a dangerous, dangerous game. Surprised someone was brave enough to make this. Unknown. She's just an alien. I like how China just randomly annexed Tajikistan. <laughs> the fact that the Middle East just has a question mark. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> is there a song called Arabian Nights in Aladdin? I mean, that at least narrows it down a bit. <laughs> the question mark. Yo, put my boy Cusco in Peru. How many Luxembourgs can your European country fit? So if you live in Iceland, you can fit 40 Luxembourgs. And if you live in the UK, you can fit 95. Most surprisingly, you can only fit one Luxembourg in Luxembourg. You can only fit 0 .06 Luxembourgs in Liechtenstein. And then 7.73E negative 4 in, uh, where? 
the Vatican maybe? You can fit 0.12 Luxembourgs in Malta. 303 Luxembourgs in Turkey? How lucky. But no one is as lucky as Russia with over 6,000 Luxembourgs. They're just so strong. Don't be fooled by Denmark. 800 Luxembourgs. That's right. Can't forget about their Greenland territory that's off screen over here. Why do we do power rankings in any other way? Just tell me how many Luxembourgs your country can fit and I'll know exactly how strong you really are. Finally a perfect world. And big thank you to my patrons. Drew's Goth Girlfriend. Triv44 aka Drew come to crack out Poland next vacation. Thwicken, hamster. Drew's Argentinian a fat grandpa. Norwal. $20 is a lot, Drew. Baseline. B. Wild Brighton thing. is Carmel the best. Carmel Saida. DJ Skillet, Orton, five, Patrick, six, Robert, E. Rye, the, the Polish, Lithuanian, The Mexican, 760. Biotic. And Zany Boy.